Hello, my friends, and welcome to today's video break. Psalm 34 verse 19 says, The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers them from them all. The righteous person may have many troubles. Aren't you, don't you appreciate the honesty of scripture and the honesty, especially of Psalms, David's writings, because you and I are going to have, are going to have troubles. James says it best when he says, consider it pure joy, my brothers, when you face trials of many kinds, because we know that in those trials, something's being built that couldn't have been built unless we've gone through that trial. We're all going to have them. But here, what do, you, what do you mean when God says, I'm going to deliver you from all of them, the righteous, those who are following after him, who choose his ways, who aren't creating their own havoc and asking God to deliver them out of them. But, you know, even those who are following God will have those terrible moments. Those awful things will happen. So here's, here's what I think I, when I think of deliverance, a lot of deliverance is, isn't God removing us from our situation. David wasn't removed from those people who were chasing after him, who became his enemies. He wasn't taken out of that situation, but in that situation is the place David found his heart chasing after God. It was in that place that his heart was being moved, was being cleansed, was being renewed, had joy, had peace, had kindness, had compassion, living in that space, in that terrible situation. That to me, my friends, is deliverance. It's deliverance of where the heart can go. It's deliverance from anger. It's deliverance from hate. It's deliverance from revenge. It's deliverance from unforgiveness. God takes us, the heart is what's more important to God than the situation you and I are going through. So come back to that, you know, that situation. The situation that you're in now may not be your most favorable place. You're not maybe so excited to be here, but maybe in it, that's the place God says, I want to deliver you. I want to deliver you in it. I want to take you from your heart place where it's at right now. And it might be angry, might be discontent. It, I, I don't know. But wherever it's at, if it's not in a good place, if you're not finding yourself having joy or peace, God wants to, to give that to you as a source of deliverance. It's like what lifts you up and allows you to walk through your situation without taking you out of it and making and putting you in another place. Because there's there's something there that God, I believe, it, it gives us that we couldn't have gotten any other place. Remember, this is a life of eternity. We're living in this now moment, but with the expectation that we're going to, we're going to be fully re in this full place where I, I don't know, I can only imagine what it would be like. But in this now moment, God wants to take and deliver your heart. So the invitation is always the same to come to him with more than just complaining about your darn situation. But maybe we need to say, God, heal me, heal my wounds. Deliver me from allowing this situation to overcome me. You, my blessed friend, you're so beloved today.